Happy Friday! I have a free book for you today. The Blessing and the Tithe. Today's offering day. And we're going to send everybody one of these books who does an offering or a donation or does their tithe today. Amen. This is a wonderful book. This is the scriptural connection to God's blessing. This is what connects us to God's blessing. We figured this out years ago. Seven and a, almost eight years ago, we, Mary and I figured this out. And now we live in absolute abundance. Actually, I knew this for quite a while before that. Years ago, uh, this started years ago. I'm going to tell you the story of how this book came about and how it got started. It is an amazing story. You are going to be so blessed on offering day today. Don't forget your offerings and donations today, but make sure you call me to speak the word for word blessing over you. We want to connect your offering to the blessing. And there is a huge connection there. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, this, this is going to be good. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Amen. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Amen. Actually, Pastor Jim is the best preacher in the country. I got the certificate. And don't forget, we are having a contest to see who is the best prayer partner. How many of you know that with any profession or anything that people do, somebody is the best? Somebody is the best horseshoe player. I knew a lady when I was growing up, young lady, and her husband was very athletic. And uh, he challenged her to a game of horseshoes. And they had been married for maybe six, eight months, a year, maybe, I don't know. He challenged her to a game of horseshoes. She beat him 21 to nothing. And he was a great horseshoe player. He said, oh, come on, come on, you can play, you can play. He didn't know she was the champion in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She was one of the, one of the premier horseshoe players in the country. I mean, those horseshoes she threw did perfect semi-circles and right on the thing. I'm telling you, she beat him 21 to nothing. She was the best horseshoe player. Amen. I'm telling you, one of the best in the country, if not the best. Amen. And he didn't even know it when he married her. Huh? There, every, every, there's, there's the best baseball player. Somebody who... All the Major League Baseball players right now, somebody is the best. There's a best football player. Somebody who plays football is the best. I saw Herschel Walker last night uh, doing a speech on TV. At one time, he was considered the best football player in the world. He was the best football player. Muhammad Ali was the best boxer in the world. Somebody is the best lawyer. Somebody is the best doctor. Somebody is the best preacher. And somebody out there is the best prayer partner. We're going to find out who that is. I have. People have been sending in names. Huh? Our committee is working hard to go through these names and sort these out and do some research on these people because the winner is going to be announced on Monday. So our committee will probably be working all weekend. Good for them. They need to work on the weekend. Amen. So make sure you get your uh, name in if you know somebody who's the best prayer partner. Amen. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. On Facebook, there's a list of criteria. Or if you want to know what is the criteria for best prayer partner, call me or text me. And I'll send you the list so you have something to go by. Amen. Glory to God. 
So this is, this is going to be good. I want to send this book out to everybody today. Everybody who does their offerings and donations and their tithe today, and a lot of people do them on Friday, I got a whole big stack of books over there. Great big stack of books. They're all going out in the mail today. We want to get these out to people. Our staff will be working overtime to get these books in the mail and get them out to you. Because I want you to have this book, The Blessing and the Tithe. It talks about the scriptural connection. How this book came about was years ago, uh, I got a hold, I started getting a revelation of God's blessing. Now, Mary and I, you know, we were broke for years and years and years. And I got a revelation about 20 years ago that I needed to speak the blessing, the word for word blessing over the people in our church. The word for word blessing is found in Numbers chapter 6, where God told Moses, he said, this is how I want you, this is how, I'm going to read it exactly for you, so you can see what it says exactly, I'm hunting for it, yeah. Number six, it says, tell Aaron and his sons, it says, right there, tell Aaron and his sons, say this, this is how you shall bless the children of Israel. This is what you shall say to them. You shall say, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. This is what you shall say. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. God said, This is how I want the people blessed. And he gave us the exact, the exact words. I read that 20 years ago, over 20 years ago. And I thought, you know what? I think I should be doing this to our church. I think I should be speaking this in our church. So I started reading this at the end of the service. The Lord bless you and keep you. I started reading this over the people in the church. Well, I'm telling you what, it wasn't but a... It was very quickly, and the blessings started to rain down on our church. I mean, to tell you what, God just opened the windows of heaven and started dumping blessings into our church. And after about six months or a year of this, I mean, people got hundreds of thousands of dollars. People became millionaires in our church, just walked into it. People got huge inheritances from people they didn't even know exist. People got jobs, jobs making twice as much money as they made before. It was just incredible what was going on. It got to the point where one day I, I, I said, Mary, we need to talk. I said, something is going on in our church. I said, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like the blessings that are going on in our church. God has blessed our church. This is, this, this is out of sight. This is over the top. This, this is something I have never even heard of in a church. These blessings like this, constantly. And there was a group of people, not everybody in our church got blessed, but a group of them did. A lot of them did. A bunch of them did. And I went, oh my goodness, what is going on here? You wouldn't believe how the people in our church now are blessed. And the Lord showed me that there was a connection. We started figuring out who was blessed. See, i am always been a detective of some kind. I figure, if they, I want to know how something happened. When, when there's something going on, I figure out why. Because then I can use that information. Amen. Just like a detective has to find out why something happened before he can find out who done it. Well, I had to find out who was getting blessed. I started making a list of people. And the people that were getting these huge blessings. And then you make a list of people. Then you look at that list and you find out what do they all have in common? What is the common denominator? Well, here is the common denominator is they were all sitting in church on Sunday. 
Some of them came on Wednesday, but some of them didn't. So that wasn't it. But they were all there on Sunday. They were all having that blessing spoken over them. So were other people. But the ones who got these huge blessings were the ones who were having the blessing spoken over them and who tithed into the same ministry that was speaking the blessing over them. And I made that connection. And that's where this book came from. The blessing and the tithe. The connection. And I realized, the Lord showed me, Israel, in, in, in all those days, they would go to the temple once a year to bring their tithe. Because they generally got paid once a year when they sold their crops or sold their cattle or sheep or whatever. And they would get paid once a year and they would go to the temple to sacrifice, to bring their tithe and to have the blessings spoken over them. And they were Israel was always incredibly blessed. The Jewish people now bring their tithe to the synagogue and the rabbi speaks that blessing over them. Word for word. The Jewish people still do this. Why do you think 85% of the Jewish people in this country live in absolute abundance? That's the reason. And that's the reason the people, you know, if, if you tithe to a church or another ministry, that's fine. But make sure they're speaking that word for word blessing over your offering and over your tithe. Because I'll tell you what, that's the connection that leads to abundance. Tithe to the blessing. If your pastor is not speaking the blessing over you, tell him to. But he has to do it in faith. By faith, Isaac spoke the blessing. By faith, Jacob spoke the blessing. The blessing has to be spoken in faith. Your pastor needs to get a revelation of this, that he is commanded by God to speak the blessing over his people. And when he does, you'll make that connection. If your pastor's not doing it, find somebody else who does. And there are a few people around the country who do that. Find one. Hook up with them. I do that over our church, and I do that over all of our partners. I speak that blessing over people almost every time they call me. When they call me, I want that blessing, that word-for-word -word blessing in their life. And I break the curse of the law to go along with it. When the curse of the law is broken, then that's the blessing blocker. Then the blessing can flow freely in their life. I figured out how to do this. Seven and a half years ago, I figured out I needed to do it with myself. I was speaking this blessing over everybody else. And people in our church were getting all this money and all these blessings. And I wasn't because I was sitting under the curse of the law. Once I broke that curse in my life, then the blessing could flow in my life. We need to break the curse of the law in your life and have you tithe to the blessing. Amen? No matter where you tithe, I can break the curse of the law in your life. But you must tithe to the blessing. Amen? We do. We tithe where the blessing was spoken over us. And I'm telling you what. When that blessing was spoken over us, I said to Mary, this person spoke the blessing over us. And I said, that's where we tithe. And I'm telling you what, we, we just, our finances have gone through the roof. Because we tithe to the blessing. To the blessed person. Amen. Find a blessed person. If you can't find nobody else, here we are. If you can't find nobody else, I want all of God's people to be, to live a curse-free, blessed life. When you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to speak that word for word blessing over you. And I'm going to send you a copy of this book. I am determined that God's people are going to be blessed. No more poverty. No more sickness. We're going to get people healed, which we do. And we're going to get the blessing of God to come upon people. Have a wonderful day. I love you very much. I'll get your book in the mail for you right away. After you do your offerings and donations, text me your name and address so I can put this book in the mail for you. I will see you back here soon.